Hi, and welcome to our playlist on graphing functions on a graphing calculator. And you might be thinking, well, why are you graphing a circle? In the first video on our playlist about functions, circles are not functions. They don't pass the vertical line test. And you're right, but imagine um, that we're actually splitting our circle um, horizontally. So taking a circle and putting a horizontal line right through it. And we're actually creating a circle by combining two separate functions. So we are using uh, the function commands here on our graphing calculator and we're actually interpreting a circle as two separate functions put together. So to understand how to graph a basic circle on a uh, graphing calculator, let's just for a moment recall that x squared plus y squared equals r squared uh, defines a circle centered at the origin, right? It's just an extension of the Pythagorean theorem uh, where r squared is the radius of your circle, which can also be thought of as the hypotenuse of a right triangle that fits inside the circle centered at the origin. But I don't want to get too carried away talking about those fun things. I just want to talk about the way we're going to be interpreting this on the graphing calculator. So instead of looking at the equation like this, if you look on our y equals window, right, everything is thought of in terms of y. So if we go to our home screen, we have to think how could we rewrite this equation in terms of y? Well, what I would do is subtract x squared from both sides. Once I do that, what do I have? Well, once I subtract x squared from both sides, I have y squared, second test, get my equal sign, equals r squared minus, well, minus x squared, right? Because we're subtracting x squared from both sides, so r squared minus x squared. And now we've almost got it. We don't want to know what's happening in terms of y squared, but y. So we take the square root of both sides. And what happens there, we take the square root of both sides, we have y is equal to, where we took the square root of y squared, and the square root of y squared is just y, of course, and now, so y is equal to what? Well, we're looking at square root, so we took the square root of the right side of the equation, which was r squared minus x squared. So r squared minus x squared. So this is how we're looking at the equation of a circle centered at the origin. Instead of x squared plus y squared equals r squared, we just rewrite it and solve it so that y equals the square root of r squared minus x squared. I'm just shifting things around. So if I go into my window right here, again I'm presented with that problem where I can't necessarily graph a circle using uh, a treating as a function or a single function because it's, it's not. Um, so we're going to split it in two pieces. The positive upper half and the negative lower half. Now that I'm in my y equals window, I'm going to define my circle. Let's say the radius is 10. So that means y is equal to r squared, the square root of r squared, which is 10 squared or 100, minus x squared. This will be the top half of our circle, right? It's only looking at the positive square root or the real numbers. And the bottom half is just going to be the inverse of that. So we have the negative sign or inverse. And y1 is our first variable here. It's the name of the first equation. If I click variables or vars and scroll to the right to y variables or vars, I select function and there's y1. So there's no need to retype it. Here I'm telling the calculator y1 is this, y2 is the inverse of that. So it's the bottom and top half of your circle. If we hit graph there, we can see our circle being drawn out. So that's how we draw a circle centered at the origin, and we'll look at other videos on how to alter this. All right, hope this helped.